Good afternoon, uh, members of the media, coach. Good afternoon and welcome. Um, what a good game. Um, you made it look so easy. Can you just give us uh, your impressions uh, of uh, what transpired uh, just a short while ago against uh, Eswatini? Yeah, of course, uh, at first we, we, we knew that uh, uh, it was going to be a, a difficult game. But uh, from our plan, from our, our uh, trainings, we, we agreed that we should play to win and score more goals. So I think my players uh, at least uh, played very well, good performance. And uh, there's history after 90 minutes, which we have made in the so far. <laughs> And Coach, uh, many see you as uh, perhaps the favourites after uh, your display in the two previous matches. Uh, how was your feeling there? Yeah, I'm, I'm highly you know, happy and uh, it looked like we were almost through the same final. So we are, I'm, I'm very, very much happy with the, uh, the performance of two games and uh, we collected six points. And uh, we don't see any, any uh, difficulty with the Madagascar from the two games we have played so far. Thank you, Coach. Uh, members of the media, do you have any questions for the coach? Yes, sir. Can, you can say who you are and where you're from. Okay, my name is Larry from uh, Zimbabwe. Coach, uh, apart from uh, winning the tournament, what are some of the things that you are also hoping to take away out of uh, this regional championship? Yeah, there are many, many things which we have learned so far from these two games. and. The, we have young young players which want to give them a chance. To, at least they should get experience out of these games. Uh, we have uh, players from under 17 and 20 who have been promoted to to, to the senior team. So, uh, from us, I think we're trying to uh, to have a transition from the previous uh, uh, squad we we had before. So, this is what I'm looking for from my team. And from the players itself. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, Coach. Congratulations on the historic win. Um, following up on the Metal Box stuff, um, following up on Larry's question, does this mean now in the next match you're going to be giving you know, uh, the younger players the chance to showcase them that you've almost secured qualification? And or is it an opportunity to also make history in terms of making Temwa the highest goal scorer ever at Costa Rica? Yeah, in the next game, I think we have a totally uh, different team. As I've said, I'm trying to, to build a future Malawi women's national team. I have, you know, plenty of young stars. Some have never played uh, for national before. So, uh, in my Nagatska's game, I think I will change the team. For Temo, I think Temo, she's our pioneer. She is a model you know, to, to, to the youngsters, so definitely we see if we're going to play or not. But he is a model to players. Players, young stars, they are at least uh, falling or uh, getting extractions from her. Do you have any more questions? No more questions. Uh, coach, uh, lastly, um, the heat. Uh, many players are complaining about the heat and uh, the change of venue. Are you happy with that? No, that one I think it's, it's not a problem. We train doing a, you know, sun when the heat is there, so that one is not an excuse. We used to from training, so I don't have any problem with that. Okay. So, thank you very much, coach, and uh, all the best in your next game. Yeah, thank right. you, members of the media. We'll wait for the next coach. Thank you. Thanks, coach. Good afternoon, once again, members of the media. We're now joined by uh, the coach of uh, S. Uh, coach Zuri Banzi Koza. Coach, tough day at the office today. Yeah, very yeah, tough. Your yeah, impressions tough. of very the match? Tough. Yeah, I could feel it outside. <laughs> it, was, it was tough, customary. What do you think of the match, uh, Coach? Uh, Malawi were too, were too good. Physically, tactically, they outplayed us. And the game was concluded in the first half. They were too much for my girls. But us as Swazis, we don't lose, but we learn. We learn all the time going forward. If Malawi can score four goals against a team like South Africa from the World Cup. Who are we? The, my girls tried. The, so we've got one more game against South Africa. We'll try and do our best. Thank you, Coach. Uh, members Thank of the you. media? Yes, ma'am. Let's start with you. Afternoon, afternoon. Good 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 aftern
on that defender. Mm. But then that result also puts you in a predicament now mm. Uh, mm. in terms of qualification. True. Is it, are, are you claiming it by being hopeful or it's going to be an issue of you're going to have to mm. do your very best in the last uh. game? I'm always hopeful because it's a game of soccer. If Brazil can be hit for seven, a, we can turn things around. We know we're working against another tough customer, South Africa from the World Cup, from the World Cup. So we'll try our best. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Coach, uh, Lara from uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, yeah. How disappointed were you, especially um, with the second goal? came at a time when you seem to be coming back into the match and that was a phase where you were sort of dominant. Not really. I can't fault my players because uh, as maybe you have heard, Swaziland is restructuring youth development in women's football. They're in the process of structuring. will come strong in the near future. I can't blame them. They try their best. My kids did try. Yes, sir? So, Coach, looking at how your team is so important. Thank you, sir. Yes. How your team playing the first half? The latter time of the first half, they keep playing, trying to rely on the long balls, which we are not trying to have with the Malawi defense. But mm. again, the score was 3 0 at half time. What is the message that you gave to the girls, but which we see in the second half yeah. it became a bit worse, mm. conceding mm. another five goals? True. Yeah, we. we let ourselves down in the first half. You can't give the ball cheaply against a team like Malawi. You give them the ball to come to you, you can't survive. That was our, our undoing. I think it was a little bit of panic. I don't know where it came from, because we tried to give them confidence that you can do it. Because they watched Malawi the other night playing, so maybe they said, ah, no, well, we can't make it. Do you have any more questions? Coach, South Africa is about to play now Madagascar. What uh, are you hoping for, uh, looking at uh, Swaziland's uh, position? Mm, uh, South Africa is from the World Cup. They're very experienced. So more maybe Madagascar can try and reduce the score against a tough South Africa. Those who can't deny they're from the World Cup. They are quite strong. Uh, so there's no prediction. South Africa, uh, they can win. Madagascar will try and reduce the score. But what would that for you? What would that for SOT? We're hoping for just to redeem ourselves against South Africa. Uh, they are playing their own style of soccer in our day. Maybe the score won't be too much. We can maybe play a draw against South Africa because they are our neighbors too. <laughs> no more questions? Thank you, members of the media. Thanks, Coach, and thanks, hard luck. Thanks a lot. Better thanks. luck next time. Thanks. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.